hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at a keyboard that I've kind of coined the keyboard you can't build. And that's not entirely true. You can get these components, but it's not going to be something that is incredibly easy to do. So the board that you see before you is a board that I had purchased to do for this RGB month because it is stacked acrylic with an underglow and per key RGB. Now this is the Jupiter Studio Pollux 75%. This is a board I ordered off of Taobao and I had to use Superbuy in order to get to me. Now it's a board that you order in sort of a pre-order, pre-purchase fashion where you buy it, you wait for them to build it and uh, assemble it for you in a way, and then they ship it to you. So I ordered this about three months ago and I have finally gotten it and I'm very excited for it. Now this is stacked acrylic. It has a an aluminum top. It comes with an LED, or an OLED rather, and a knob. It's a semi-exploded layout because the arrows are not exploded, but you do get an exploded F row. Now, one of the cool things about this board, which I can't really showcase because I already tried to record this and I goofed and I assembled it while I was streaming <laughs> instead of recording. So I have put the speaker inside of it. And what the speaker does is it plays a tone whenever you do a key press. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do that for fun. And again, this is to celebrate the month of my birth for October, and we're doing RGB builds all month. And we're also doing a giveaway. So be sure to check out that giveaway, and I'll put a link in the description so that way you can get to it. But what we're going to be doing is we're gonna build this with Night Sakura switches. These are switches that were a limited run and they're not something that you can really get anymore. And I've actually been searching for these since uh, spring. And these are kind of my grail switch. There's nothing fancy about them. It's just something I couldn't get that I wanted and now I have them thanks to a buddy. And it's so nice to finally have them so I want to use them in a build. Now these are a 63 gram tactile switch uh, from an unknown manufacturer. They've got a nylon top, a polycarbonate bottom. They are equipped with a 13.3 millimeter palm stem. So you get that nice poppy bottom, especially with that polycarb. And I love that the, the materials are reversed from your standard switch with the polycarb top and the nylon bottom. In addition to that, there's also that 15 millimeter long spring in here. So they, it gives them that kind of poppier top out. So we're gonna be building with these, and then we're going to, once we're finished putting these in the board, we're going to top it with Aqua Midnights. Now, why can't you get these anymore? Well, you kinda can if you can find a reseller that still carries them, but Aqua is no longer selling them. Uh, these Midnights are basically themed after that same thing that you see with the, uh, the Midnight keycaps uh, from EPBT and uh, I believe it's Domiki who's got the other ones. But those were based on a Vice theme, cap, theme keycap set from GMK. And Akko has gotten a lot of flack for cloning keycaps uh, and they have tried to make an effort to come up with their own ideas. Now while this wasn't a stolen uh, keycap design, if you will, uh, the colorway is very similar. And, but they do use their own Akko novelties. But uh, because of that, Akko has stopped selling some of these older original kits uh, in order to save a little bit of face and kind of move forward and change in direction and, and maybe gain a little bit more clout within the community. But I love these keycaps. I love the profile. These are um, the ASA profile keycaps. And so they're, they're kind of somewhere between an SA and uh, an OEM. And I just, I just love them. So we're gonna be using these. And even though you can't get these switches and keycaps any longer, I will be posting some links in the description to some other Akko ASA keycaps that I like, as well as some switches that I would find sort of comparable to uh, these over here. Probably send you a link to KP Republic where you guys can save five bucks on any order over $15. And then I'll also post up the link to Superbuy, so you can set up yourself up with a Superbuy account if you're in the US or uh, Europe and you want to import from Taobao. So I will do that. 
And then uh, I will post the Taobao link to this for those of you who actually want to get the Taobao link itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do this a little differently today. I'm going to go ahead and put this all together and then we'll come back and have a little chat before we go into a sound test. And then we'll follow up after that with the final thoughts. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. All right, there you have it. It's all put together. And uh, I wanna talk a little bit, just a short moment about the build process. So the plate is a little tight. The glass that sits over top of the LED doesn't fit snugly. So that's something that we're going to have to work on. It did accommodate the stabilizers just fine. Uh, and then as you saw in the intro to this video, it still, it still has that creak. And there's really nothing that can be done about that. Uh, it's partially because of the way the plate sits in here. It, it rubs up against the insides of the stacked acrylic. And then this guy right here itself is creaky. So I'm gonna fix this by probably putting some sort of rubber cement around the perimeter or something like that, like what they use in fish tanks. That'll fix it and make it where it's perfectly usable. But typing on it, I don't think we're gonna experience an issue. But I will say that being stacked acrylic, I don't think I'm a stacked acrylic fan. This is my second stacked acrylic board. I sold the first one because I did not like the sound and I'm, I'm kind of getting the same vibes from this. So this came out a lot higher pitched than I expected. But yeah, let's see if we get the creak back uh, when we do the typing test and let's see what this bad boy sounds like. All right, so a couple things to talk about when firing it up for the sound test. Uh, it started playing a song, like straight up, and it, it wasn't just like an intro song. It was gonna keep playing the song, but when I hit a button, it stopped. Um, there's a couple things to be said about the RGB. Uh, it does have, you know, uh, toplet, you know, your per key, or you can change it to where it's just underglow, or you can change it to where it's both. Um, I am noticing some issues since I plugged in the speaker that I was not experiencing before. We've got a weird flicker from the LEDs. So I'm not sure where that's coming from. In addition to that weird flicker, it seems to tone down if you bring the brightness levels down a bit. So I'm really not sure, but I am, I am digging this underglow. 
and it, as always it's it's kind of hard to show on cam but I mean I think this is pretty sick and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to use the Miami Knights because once I get that file sorry the Alco Midnights once I get that file what I would like to do is I would like to have a purple and or you know cyan blue underglow so the creek is it's it's still there it's not as bad but it's definitely not getting any better um the build experience was okay the tight the tight plate was the only factor that was really an issue it does have those pegs that slide through the different layers of acrylic and it makes alignment fairly easily easy except for the the very bottom which is obviously flat but you can slide the screw through there and easily screw it in so i think this board's pretty neat um i wouldn't say this is a recommend in terms of like oh, I really want a keyboard, what keyboard should I get? We'll go out and get the Jupiter 75, or Jupiter Studios Pollock 75. Um, you know, it's got a really neat underglow effect, but I think you can achieve something comparable for a, a lot less money in the, uh, uh, if you were to go with like the uh, the Akko 5075, for example. That That is a really nice polycarbonate board or ABS board, I forget which one it is, but it would give a similar effect. Uh, you would get the LEDs on the side, they wouldn't go completely around. So you do lose that. But if you really want that like full underglow effect and you don't have to have an exploded layout, KBD fans has got some uh, pretty decent acrylic 75% boards. So um, this isn't like a recommend. I wouldn't say go out and seek this, but what I will say is it's, uh, it's interesting. It's something that you know, a collector like myself, uh, I would, I'm going to keep this and put this on my shelf because it is A, it's ridiculous, and B, it's, uh, it, it's kind of pretty and unique and it, it's gonna make a nice addition to my collection. But don't, don't seek this particular board out. These switches, they feel amazing. And that noise covers up. <laughs> that noise covers up uh, the high pitch of this acrylic build. So, yeah, I don't know. Do what you will with that information. If you like what you're seeing here, guys, please be sure to like and subscribe to the video. Uh, check out the description for links to uh, comparable switches and some other Akko uh, keycaps. And uh, I will go ahead and link the Akko 5075 in the description as well. Uh, hopefully those are back in stock. If not, you know, there are other boards out there, but I'll put those all in the description so that way you can pick up something that will be um, more usable out of the box and offer a more normal, if you will, keyboard experience. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me today. It's been fun. We've got one more video left and I'll have that out on Halloween and you'll see why. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys are checking the uh, link in the descriptions. Gr group I for the cream sodas is finished, but the giveaway is still running until the end of October 31st. So if you haven't gotten in on that, please check that out. Check out my socials. Get in on that. Thank you all for joining me and supporting me. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, y'all have a good one.